thank you for your time like this. And we thank you for your grace and your power. What a mighty God we serve. Your glorious holiness fearful embraces. And you do wonders. In that wonder working power as many people as we lift up their voices to cry to heavens now let them experience divine visitation in the name of Jesus you will shout this louder than anyone around you if you like Say career. If you like, say calling. If you like, say academics. If you like, say business. But let your voice be loud. Say, have a voice. Say, my father, Baba, me, save me, and I shall be saved. Bamila, Emiosila, heal me, and I shall be healed. Womisa, Emiosisa, can you shout that loud? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to cry to the Lord. Save me and I shall be saved. Bamila, Emiosila. Heal me and I shall be healed. Oh, Mason, Emiosis. Heavens over my spiritual life. Open my fire. In the name of Jesus. Heavens over my spiritual life. Open, 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 open my fire. You will shout this loud and clear. Say, my father. Baba, me. Anywhere I go. A big bit in law, darkness must scatter. Oh, Kukun Lati Tuka. Can you shout that loud? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. Jesus' 
Father, we thank you for a time like this. And we praise the holy name for your mighty hand of power and strength. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Now listen to me very carefully. As I share an important key with you. The awesome power of the awesome power of midnight prayers. The awesome power of midnight night prayers. Sisters, what did I say? Can the sister say it loud? Brothers, can I hear you sounding like evangelists? The awesome power of midnight prayers. Please listen to me very carefully. The word midnight occurs 14 times in scripture. Each time it occurred, something strange, big is attached to it. The word midnight occurs 14 times in scripture. And each of the appearances has something attached to it. David was the first person in the Bible who started getting up at midnight to pray. Getting up at midnight to pray. David, David, in Psalm 119, verse 62, Psalm 119, verse 62, 119, verse 62, if you are there, say yes. You see, spiritual things are operated with keys. It's not so much as uh, working hard, working and working key. There are keys. You will see the testimonies that will come out of this message. Because it's, it's a key that many people don't know about or hardly use. Psalm 119 verse 62 Are we there? Can, can we all read it together now? Let's go. At midnight. Can you shout it again? Can you read it again? Good. The second point you must understand is that God did almost everything important at midnight. Midnight. Practically everything important that the Almighty did. Midnight. 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 Every time the apostles were locked up in prison, it took night prayers to break open their prison houses. Night prayers. That's why. If 
sleep is still caging you. You need prayer. Night warfare's are extremely effective. I see somebody here today. By the time you start your night warfare, everything you have lost for years, you shall mysteriously recover them. That amen is too weak. <laughs> that amen is too weak. <laughs> Bottom line, night warfare are effective. For you know, because none likes to be awake at night. People prefer to sleep. After working during the day, the tendencies that people normally like to rest at night. That's why all the workers of evil, they pick the night hour. If you too must defeat your enemies who operate in covens at night, you must learn how to wake up at night and pray through. From 1974, I trained myself to sleep for four hours. Four hours. Once four hours is over, my eyes will pop open. Four hours. And my four hours is better than the ten hours some people sleep. This is a very serious matter. If you must survive in the midst of the war that we face. Jesus himself laid examples for us. In Luke chapter 6 verse 12 Luke chapter 6 verse 12 Luke 6 12 If you are there say yes. Sabbath is she better Sisters, open to that place. In Arab, in Ashibe, Luke six twelve. We look or look at face a kijila. Can we do together, everybody? Let's go. Yaka ju moka. If there is somebody who did not need to pray. It's Jesus. But here you find. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray. And continued all night in prayer to God. If Jesus had to pray, how about you? How about me? In this Luke chapter 6 verse 12, after Jesus had finished this vigil, look at it from verse 13, Jesus left the vigil, and then after that vigil, he preached the most powerful sermon ever delivered on earth. In that same Luke chapter 6, Bible teachers call it Sermon on the Mount. All the blessed are they that hunger, blessed are they, blessed are they. All those, the sermon was preached after a night vigil. He took an all night prayer to produce such results. Beloved, what I would like to do we have a marching order if we must prevail. We have a marching order if we must prevail. If you are still here today and 12 midnight, <laughs> hey, you are watching non- Nollywood. 
Nollywood. Eh, wo cinema Nollywood. I like Bollywood. You want power? You are watching London City Twelve Midnight. Eh, fi agbara. Eh, wan wo cinema Bollywood. Ni agomeji loru. You want power? You are on the internet Twelve Midnight. Eh, fi agbara. Eh, wa wa lori eh wa la tagba. Ni agomeji loru. You are wasting time. Eh, fa koko shufuni. Our marching order. I share it. Ani is in lamentations. Oh, wa ni nu eh ku Jeremiah chapter two. Ori keji was nineteen. I say koko deni ogun. Those of you here who I've made television your Lord and Master. Eh, you tell one thing that is so. A You better, you better change quickly. Eh, not ye father, ni kia kia. The enemies of our soul do not watch television. Ota ya kwa kiu we ramu mawo. They don't go on sabbatical. Oh, ki lost simirang kwa. They don't take study leave. Oh, ki ba ilati similote They don't go on vacation. Oh, ki lost fun simirara. In Lamentations chapter two. You know we are going to read my Ori Kaji verse nineteen. This is our marching order. You ni a. Arise, the day cry out when Kibe, maybe you're not there yet. Lamentations, Ekun Jeremiah, two nineteen. Ori ke jese koko dini ogun. If you are there, say yes. We are about to see. Because I want us to shout it out. Ori ke mufya ka Kibe. Are we ready now? Let's go. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Did they know we cry out when keep uh, in the night? So okay, Leo Ru in the night. Loru. Beloved. Olufe. Midnight prayer. Adura or Bonjoru is the surest arena. Only a big bit to that you for breaking satanic bondages and limitations. Lat you for a one be conti satani at it of him pinti any the midnight or bonjoru. Is the time for spiritual button change? Only a coco fun yipa da ogunjija. The midnight ogunjoru is the time of dark meeting initiation. Only a coco ti wan mu ni yon wekbe ti okuku. The midnight ogunjoru is the time when all the evil that have worked in the day are handing over. To the workers of the night. Ne a koko ti a wong yu she ibi. To si che lo ju mama. Ti wong fi a wong show. I she show wong si a wong lo she o kong do. They are handing over to the night workers. Wong fi she show wong si a wong ni she o kong do. It is the time when evil changes shifts. Oh dear, koko ti o she ibi. To man yi ba pada. The midnight. O kong do ru. Is a covenant time for covenant gathering. Oh dear, koko ma ti a mong fi kora do kwa ti a wong a je. I pray for somebody here. May any coven guarding against you at midnight be scattered. The ones that will gather tonight shall be scattered. The ones that will gather after tonight shall be scattered. Let your amen roar like thunder. The midnight. Is the time the right handing over notes? Oh, ni aku kuti wan fi we so wan si oni on tu anko. So this is how far. Wait today we have destroyed so person so person. Ni abaye lagba jaba ije in the day. Ni ani oju momo. You are the night workers. Eh, ite ije ogon oni si oru. Take over from where we left. Eh, ba she she lati biti ati fi she si lehi. Therefore, ni tori no. Midnight prayer is essential. Aduro oru o she pataki. There is no evil power. That can resist the power of persistent and prolonged midnight prayers. Even if, even if it's just for 10 minutes, it doesn't have to be long. No. If you say 12 midnight, you start. And by 12 15, you are true. It's okay. It's okay. As far as it is consistent. Consistent. 12 to 12 30. It's okay. As far as it's consistent. Maybe you went and slept at 9 o'clock. You leave your alarm clock on. 12 midnight drinks. You get up. 10 minutes of aggressive prayer. Go back to sleep. It's okay. As far as it's consistent. There are levels you cannot achieve in the spiritual realm. Until you get involved in midnight prayer. The truth 
which I must tell you. There is no man who gets any serious power from God. It's always after midnight. That's why one man of God wrote a book many years ago. It calls the book Born After Midnight. And the, the meat of that book that all the good things that God does for people the visitation the power they, they all come after midnight there are levels of revelation that you can never attain without prolonged midnight prayer there are some satanic entities thrones kingdoms chains fetters that you can never dismantle without midnight prayer Jesus said Will the Lord not speedily answer? His saints who cry unto him day and night. There are some prayers that cannot be prayed in the day. There are day prayers, there are night prayers. So night time is the best battle time. Night time is that time where there is high level of witchcraft activities. High level of demonic activities. The night time is when they begin to cause pain. Sorrow. Affliction. Torment. Bruising people. Harassing people. Manipulating people. It's all in the night. No wonder Jesus also said. While men slept. His enemies came. The strategy is this. As they are meeting to determine your own fate. You can go on midnight riot. And determine their own fate. That's, that's the thing. You can use your weapon of prayer to scatter their meeting and render them helpless and powerless. Is there anyone here you are ready to penetrate into the kingdom of darkness and pull down the walls of principalities and powers? You need midnight prayer. Is there anybody here you want to overcome the battle before the battle even begins? You need the midnight prayers. Is anybody here? You are fed up with your present state. You need the midnight prayers. Is anybody here? You want to obtain all the resources of heaven. You need the midnight prayers. One angel, just one angel. At night, destroyed 185,000 soldiers of Sinakiru. Meaning that. You can destroy all your enemies in one night. Night time is a time of victory. It's a time to tame the wild lion and the beast. What those enemies are doing in their covens, you can do much more at the throne of grace at midnight. Midnight prayers attract angelic presence. And it will tame all the white lions as well. This is a serious matter. And this is why I'm bringing to your attention. Acts of Apostles chapter 16. Chapter 16. Verse from verse 22. Acts 16. 22. 
If you are there, say yes. About to see, can you obey me? And the multitude rose up together against them. And the magistrate rent off their clothes. And commanded to beat them. So they tore their clothes. And asked them to be beaten. And when they had laid many stripes, many stripes upon them. Many stripes, they cannot even count. The Jews only give about 39 strokes of cane. This one many. And count again. They cast them into prison. Charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who haven't received such a charge? Trust them into the inner prison. And made their feet fast in the stocks. And at one time, Subon. What time, beloved? And at midnight. Why did those men decide to keep quiet? They were watching them. Eight o'clock. They didn't take any action. No action taken. Eleven. No action taken. Eleven thirty. No action taken. But They started. Those men understood warfare. They knew what they wanted to do. One And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. Paul and some praised unto God. And the prisoners had them. Meaning that they were not quiet about it. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prisons were shaken. And immediately, all the doors were opened. Everyone's bands were loose. Everyone's band, arm robber, on arm robber, rapist, drug addict, everyone's bands were loose. And the keeper of the prison are walking out of his sleep. And since the prison does open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself. Supposing the prisoners had fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice. Do thyself no harm. We are all here. Earthquake was released at midnight. At midnight. If God had informed Paul and Silas that he had a plan that he would allow them to be turned naked, beaten up and thrown into jail they will have wondered God's plans allow the enemies to be so foolish to arrest these two innocent men of God and put them in the inner prison but by the time this man exploded from the nucleus of that prison, the effect was total and devastating. At midnight, they raised their voices in praise and prayer. When they started the song, I'm sure the whole all the prisoners who were there, they will have been mocking them. So, ah, this ones are just coming in. <laughs> just brought in this one. So don't worry. They will soon get tired. But as they sang, 
the prison began to dance to their music. And there was an earthquake that shook the prison to its ancient foundation. Then there was collective and individual deliverance. If the door is open and the men are still in bondage, it's like nothing has been done. If the man in the house is chained but the doors are open His freedom also is limited God knew that the opening of the gates was not going to be enough it was going to be useless unless the personal prisons of the prisoners were broken to so, so there was personal deliverance there was collective deliverance. The deliverance of Paul and Silas brought about the deliverance of others. I'm praying for somebody here. May you be instrument of deliverance unto others. Listen carefully. So many people's destinies are tied to yours. You may not agree, but it's true. Many people's breakthrough. They are tied to you. Also more. Many people's deliverance depends on your own deliverance. Your painful cries and prayers at midnight will not only deliver you. But to extend this deliverance to others who are waiting for you to be delivered, for them to be delivered. The foundation of many prisons is strong. The foundation of many bondages, particularly for the black man, is very strong. It will take an earthquake from God to shake them. To shake them. The purpose of midnight prayer is to provoke that headquake of deliverance so that you can move God to destroy the roots of whatever you are facing. So when you need the headquake of deliverance, what you need is the power of the midnight prayer. We need to cry to the Lord. Oh yeah, The Bible says, "Be the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous avails much." That's one requirement. The Lord wants from you, to righteousness. righteousness. So that that prayer can avail more. So whatever trouble you are facing, if you start a consistent midnight battle against them, as a matter of necessity, the earthquake of deliverance will be released, and the problem will bow. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here, and you are not born again, if you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very quickly now. By saying what I'm going to say after say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. I want to say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I come into my life. Take control of my life. Lord Jesus, I Lord Jesus, I 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 Jesus
Jesus. Jesus. Please don't joke with this next prayer. Say, powers! Bewitching my photograph against me. Can you shout this loud? The reason I ask you to pray this prayer is because some photographs are in the hands of the enemy to use. Can you shout this loud? Shout it again. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Five persons here. I want your marrow and some strange object in your body. I want to go and go around after this prayer now. Lay a do anything, these strange things. I want to get you on ye who vanish. Father, Baba, it is written. At the call we pray. You yourself bought our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. The chastisers of our pieces upon you and by your stripes we are healed. I stand there as your servant and I declare under the mandate of Calvary you strange objects in the body hear the word of the Lord it is written as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. You, the stranger in the body, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Check it now. Check it now. There are five of you. Five of you. Five of you. You will declare this louder than anyone around you. Collective captivity. Collective captivity. Is that the loudest you can shout? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. Scatter! In the name of Jesus, that's the power of God. That's the power of God. Power of God. Power of God. There are several other persons. And when you are made you have been caged. What if you see no hammer by 
the power so called marine bankers. Your money is there. Your husband is there. Your children are there. They have hidden so many things from you. I'm just going to count seven from here. And then the volcanic fire of the Holy Ghost will fall upon you. And the yoke of that water power will be broken completely. Sponsored infirmity. Clear away now. In the name of Jesus, let your thunder. You will now shout this louder than anyone here. Earthquake of the Lord's deliverance. Shout it loud. Your voice is not loud enough. Shout it louder. Fight for me now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you now shout this loud and clear after me? Say, Acts of God. Acts of God. Acts of God. Cut down. I want you to put your emphasis on cut down. Every witchcraft tree. Battling my life. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Mm -hmm. This prayer is meant to penetrate into the covens. Can I hear the sisters again shouting it? Sisters, your voice is not loud enough. Brothers, can your voice roar like thunder? Cut down. When you say it once, you now convert it to machine gun prayer. Cut it down. 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 Open your mind and pray. Yes, my pitta city like I am Shanda. It's happening, it's happening. Cut it down. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Cut it down. Whether it's in the village, whether it's in the city, whatever it is present, we keep it cut it down. In Jesus' name we pray. Every cage, 
fashioned to imprison my star. Can I hear you shouting that? I smash you. Can you say that again? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and say it loud and clear. Every case fashion to imprison my star. I smash you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Power! 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 Exhorting yourself as eagle against me. Can I hear you shouting this one? I knock you down. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and deal with that power. Just bend. Then we pray. Say, thou power of invisible barrier stagnating my life. Can I hear you shouting that? Let your voice be louder than that. Is that the ladders you can shout it? Oh, we are going to get you better. Scatter! Fuka! In the name of Jesus! Neon, for yes! Yes! Ben! Thank you, Jesus. I soon guess. Jesus, then we pray. Father, Baba, at my count of seven here, let anyone in this service who is under the yoke of village witchcraft be released instantly. For it is written, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That every enemy that comes against us must flee from before our face. They come against us in one way, they shall flee in seven ways. Father, Baba, as I count seven from you, anyone, no matter where they are, whether they are this or the or outside, and they have been harassed. Tormented, he won't come on you don't want to hear my village witchcraft. Let your power fall upon such people and let them be completely delivered in the name of Jesus. One, any two, eighty three, a time for airing. Thank you, Lord. A single one, five, a room, six, a five, seven, a day. Let the chains be broken. Let the chains be broken. Powers! Cutting holes in my pocket. Can you shout this loud? In the name of Jesus. Cutting holes in my pocket. Your time is up now. 
Jesus, then we pray. Sisters, are you here tonight? Can you say this after me? Powers. Using the hours of the night to conclude my case. And the sisters shouted with anger. Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Thunder of God! Around Scattered! In the name of Jesus! Scatter them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Today in our revival hour, we're going to listen to this message which has blessed many lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. Tonight, we're speaking on Possessing the tongue of fire. Possessing the tongue of fire. Luke three sixteen. John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the lashes of whose shoes I'm not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. If you are a careful reader of the Word of God, you will soon begin to come across many supernatural fires in the Bible. In Genesis 19, you will read about fire from heaven that destroys Sodom and Gomorrah. In Exodus 13, you will read about the pillar of fire that guided the Israelites. In 1 Kings chapter 18, you will read about Elijah calling down fire from heaven. If you read Psalm 104, you will read the fire of God's ministers. If you read your Acts of Apostles chapter 2, you will read about the Pentecostal fire. So there are plenty of supernatural fires in the Word of God. Supernatural fires. The Bible also talks about the refining fire. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 2. So you find supernatural fire in the Word of God. Here in Luke three sixteen, we read about another fire. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Fire is a powerful instrument. Fire is powerful in its movement. Fire is penetrating in its power. Close your eyes now, beloved, and raise one hand to the heavens. Say, I possess the tongue of fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I possess the tongue of fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I possess the tongue of fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. I possess the tongue of fire by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I possess the tongue of fire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shout it again! Say it again! Why? Because fire 
is powerful in movement. Fire is penetrating in power. Fire produces light. Fire is mysterious in action. Fire symbolizes power. Fire is very aggressive. Fire dominates and conquers. Fire is confrontational. Fire takes over whatever it encounters. Fire removes impurities. Fire is very aggressive, very focused, very militant, and very pure. There is nothing like cold fire. All fire is hot. Fire does not compromise. This is why we need the tongue of fire after the order of Elijah. Elijah did what no man had done before. Elijah defied the host of hell. He challenged the backsliding nation and he challenged the prophets of Baal to a contest. He, with his tongue of fire, gave a living demonstration of the power of the God of Israel. He overthrew the princes of darkness that have taken over the land. He overthrew the powers of darkness that are roaming all over the place. He was the one who called for the contest. He was the one who proposed the battle plan. And he was the one who laughed them to scorn. He was the one who brought down the fire. And after the fire had been brought down, that was the end of those evil satanic prophets. When fire is released from the presence of God in the Bible, it is sometimes to consume the wicked. Sometimes it's to protect his people. Sometimes it's to empower his people. Sometimes it's to confront and destroy the sacrifices of the enemy. More than at any other time in this modern world, we need a tongue that can bring down the fire and the power of God. Under what condition do we need this tongue of fire? We need the tongue of fire when the enemy appears to be winning the war. We need the tongue of fire when good things disappear unexplainably. We need the tongue of fire when the enemy is carrying out evil broadcast against us. We need the tongue of fire when the enemy puts a full stop on our moving forward. We need the tongue of fire when the enemy is the traffic warden of our breakthrough. We need the tongue of fire when the enemy is converting buckets to baskets. We need the tongue of fire when the enemy wants God's people to move from grace to grass. More than at any other time, beloved, we need to have the old-fashioned revival back in our lives. Instead of the old-fashioned revival meeting we used to have, we now have modern, fashionable, and harmless little revivals. These modern revivals have not succeeded in producing serious, fire-emitting Christians. The revival we are having now have not succeeded in empowering Christians to speak the words of fire against any part confronting them. The early Christians had fire in their bones. They do not need Sunday Sunday medicine to keep them going. They are not spiritual diplomats, they are not spiritual politicians, they are just people on fire for God. We need fire emitters in the house of God today, those who can speak the word of fire. The apostles collected fire and they declared unashamedly the name of Jesus. These days we have plenty of Christians who are ashamed to broadcast Christ. But the apostles collected fire and they upset the world. And people look at them and say, these men who have turned the world upside down, they have come here too. The apostles collected fire, they worried the devil. They got the devil worried. They gave the rulers sleepless nights. The apostles with their fire started what jails could not hold and swords could not kill. Beloved, more than at another time, we have to be on fire for God. We need the revival of that fire upon our lives. There are plenty of things that are going wrong these days with Christians. One of the things is that we are powerless. We need the return of the apostolic Christianity we read about in Acts of Apostles. Where you will read about the divine intoxication. One of the things that is driving us away now, many people are getting confused. And why the devil of baptism of fire is so low is because we are departing from the ancient pathways. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 28. Proverbs 22:28. Proverbs 22:28 says this: Remove not the ancient landmark, 
which thy fathers have set. Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. One of the greatest reasons why we have low level of fire for meeting Christians, we have low level of people who can speak the words of fire is because we are gradually, gradually departing from the ancient pathway. And a lot of strange multitude are now even creeping into our midst who are not really ready to change their lifestyle. They are fire extinguishers. There is nothing like modern Christianity. God himself is completely old-fashioned. He's completely old-fashioned. If you look at the book of Hebrews, you'll find an interesting thing there. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 10. God himself is old-fashioned. You cannot modernize God. And there is nothing like modern Christianity. There is nothing like new generation Christianity. Christianity is still the old fashioned Christianity. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 10. And thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest. They shall all work old as doth a garment, and as a vesture shall thou fold them up. And they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. The same old fashioned Almighty. Nothing can beat the old time religion. All our attempts to modernize Christians are just brought clever sinners and powerless Christians. The big truth is that many present day believers are completely powerless. Many of the present day believers do not want to look different from the world. Ladies who claim they want power go around with male's clothes. They go about all painted all over the place. They put on demonic materials without knowing. They try to correct God by coloring their lips and their fingernails. Some even go and buy already manufactured fingernails and fix it on their own nails. You have men who go about with chains on their neck as if they are slaves. African female women, they try to copy the hair of the white woman, which is very sad. Why the white woman too, we lose looking at the hair of the black woman and wishes her own will be like them. They are trying to copy the white woman. The first time I found myself in an all-white church, after the service, about 10 of them surrounded me. That was my first time that I traveled abroad. They greeted me well. They invited me for dinner. But I found that they kept staring at my head. Then one of the white women who was very bold said, Daniel, sorry, I've never seen this kind of hair before. May I touch your hair? And I said, yes. And she did. They are appreciating our own. We are trying to copy their own, which is very sad. Many who say they want the power of God, they will wear skin tight and exposing dresses. They will wear large belts like wrestlers. They are not prepared to sweat in prayers when they come to church because they are afraid that the sweat may spoil the clothes. To get the tongue of fire, we must go back to where our father started. But alas, and what an unfortunate thing. A lot of these present day Christians have been caught in modern day spiritual traps. And there is plenty of cloning and copying going around. Somebody watches something on television and he wants to introduce you to church. This departure from the old-fashioned pathway has reduced the strength and power of Christianity. Then there is another clever bondage that is reducing our fire. It's the bondage of television. The television has taken away the prayer time and Bible study of many. It has manipulated many people away from doing what they want to do. These are very, very serious matters. Many people are actually controlled by television. And it has been wasting their spiritual time and they don't know. Many of the so-called Christian stories is a display of pride and lack of brokenness that they demonstrate there. To worsen the situation, there is plenty of dirty books and magazines around. There is the presence of many things that people ought to throw away that they are now embracing. But God is willing to give his power to us. As he says, someone is coming after me. The lashet of whose shoes I'm unfit to untie. 
He shall baptize you not with the Holy Ghost alone, but with fire. When the fire extinguishes I upon your life, you cannot possess the tongue of fire. Who are the fire extinguishers? Number one, sin. Number two, worldly pleasures. Number three, carelessness. Number four, television and videos. Number five, heavy hearts. Number six, unbelief. Number seven, hypocrisy. Number eight, deceit. Number nine, anger. Number 10, murmuring. Number 11, bitterness. 12, hastiness. 13, looseness. Men are so loose with women, so women are so loose with men. Show me a man who is very loose with women, and I will show you a man who does not have a destiny. 14, laziness. 15, oversleeping and prayerlessness. 16, Drinking. 17. Gossip. 18. Lost. 19. Lying. 20. Stubbornness. And the last one, demonic bondage. These are the major fire extinguishers. If you are here and you find that your imagination frequently indulges in uncleanness, that's what we call lust. If you are here and you used to permit anything to come between you and the Lord, that is idolatry. If you are here to find that you don't like evangelism and you hate long praying session, it's laziness. The Lord is calling us to repentance from these matters. So we can have the tongue of fire when we will strike down every altar of bar. And this is where we are going to start praying our closing prayers. It is time for us to amaze and to shock our adversaries with our tongues. Bow down your heads now. Begin to talk to the Lord. At any sin hanging to my tongue that is preventing my tongue to be a tongue of fire, tell the Lord to forgive you now, tonight. The Lord has an agenda for your life. Must not fill him in that agenda. Masse kaponta lekete aboshende. Riboson tendayaba. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Rise up on your feet now. If you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Let's raise up your right hand and say what I'm going to say for Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I come before you, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Bondage of powerlessness upon my tongue. Break! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name name we pray. Say, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Holy Ghost, catapult my spiritual life to the highest height. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, catapult my spiritual life to the highest height. In the name of Jesus, 
Holy Ghost catapult my spiritual life to the highest height in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost catapult my spiritual life to the highest height in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost catapult my spiritual life to the highest height in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit. I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit. I bind you and cast you out in the name of Jesus. Every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit. I bind you and cast you out in the name of Jesus. Every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit. I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So, O oh God, arise and open my eyes that I may behold great and wondrous things in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and open my eyes that I may behold great and wondrous things in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and open my eyes that I may behold great and wondrous things. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and open my eyes, that I may be all great and wondrous things. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and open my eyes, that I may be all great and wondrous things. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and open my eyes, that I may be all great and wondrous things. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and open my eyes, that I may be all great and wondrous things. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and open my eyes, that I may be all great and wondrous things. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh God, order my steps in your word. And let iniquity never have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, order my steps in your word. And let iniquity never have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, order my steps in your word. And let iniquity never have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, order my steps in your word. And let iniquity never have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, order my steps in your word. And let iniquity never have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, order my steps in your word. And let iniquity never have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, order my steps in your word. And let iniquity never have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I break every dark covenant. Put in place against the call of God upon my life. In the name of Jesus. I break every dark covenant put in place against the call of God upon my life. In the name of Jesus, I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every unholy thing in the garden of my life, I block you in the name of Jesus. Every unholy thing in the garden of my life, I block you in the name of Jesus. Every unholy thing in the garden of my life, I block you. I block you. I block you in the name of Jesus. Every unholy thing in the garden of my life, I block you in the name of Jesus. I block you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I break all soul ties that would distract my mind from my prayer life. In the name of Jesus, I break all soul ties that would distract my mind from my prayer life. In the name of Jesus, I break all soul ties that would distract my mind from my prayer life. In the name of Jesus, I break all soul ties that would distract my mind from my prayer life. In the name of Jesus, I break all soul ties that would distract my mind from my prayer life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I bind every spirit of slumber by the power in the blood of Jesus. I bind every spirit of slumber by the power in the blood of Jesus. I bind every spirit of slumber by the power in the blood of Jesus. I bind every spirit of slumber. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I bind every spirit of slumber. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I bind every spirit of slumber. By the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, let the spiritual discipline of the Lord be my portion in the name of Jesus. 
Let the spiritual discipline of the Lord be my portion in the name of Jesus. Let the spiritual discipline of the Lord be my portion in the name of Jesus. Let the spiritual discipline of the Lord be my portion in the name of Jesus. Let the spiritual discipline of the Lord be my portion in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh God, arise. Quicken me by the Spirit of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Quicken me by the Spirit of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Quicken me by the Spirit of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. Quicken me by the Spirit of the Most High. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I plead the blood of Jesus over my eyes, my ears, and my mouth. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over my eyes, my ears, and mouth. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over my eyes, my ears, and mouth. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over my eyes, my ears, and mouth. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I renounce every form of idolatry affecting my life. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every form of idolatry affecting my life. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every form of idolatry affecting my life. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every form of idolatry affecting my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so all heaviness and depression get away from my life. In the name of Jesus, all heaviness and depression. Get away from my life in the name of Jesus. All heaviness and depression. Get away from my life in the name of Jesus. Get away from my life in the name of Jesus. Get away from my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I cast the spirit that comes against my prayer life out of my life in the name of Jesus. I cast the spirit that comes against my prayer life out of my life in the name of Jesus. I cast the spirit that comes against my prayer life out of my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I shall not miss the call of God for my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall not miss the call of God for my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall not miss the call of God for my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall not miss the call of God for my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I bind and cast out every spirit of Judas around me. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out every spirit of Judas around me. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out every spirit of Judas around me. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any negative confession or evil decree made against me disappear in the name of Jesus. Any negative confession or evil decree made against me Disappear in the name of Jesus. Any negative confession or evil decree made against me. Disappear in the name of Jesus. 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 Any negative confession or evil decree made against me. Disappear in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can you say this loud and clear? Every arrow of the enemy, sending my spiritual life backward, backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the enemy, sending my spiritual life backward, backfire in the name of Jesus, backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I receive power to walk in divine release and sweetness of joy. In the name of Jesus, I receive power. To walk in divine release and sweetness of joy. In the name of Jesus, I receive power. To walk in divine release and sweetness of joy. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Father, create in me a clean heart and a right spirit. In the name of Jesus, Father, create in me a clean heart and a right spirit. In the name of Jesus, Father, create in me a clean heart and a right spirit. In the name of Jesus, Father, create in me a clean heart and a right spirit. In the name of Jesus, Father, create in me a clean heart and a right spirit. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, Father, let the spirit that hungers and thirsts for your presence overshadow me in the name of Jesus. Father, let the spirit that hungers and thirsts for your presence overshadow me in the name of Jesus. 
Father, let this feed that hunger sir, and thanks for your presence. Overshadow me in the name of Jesus. Overshadow me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, O oh God, arise. Let my inner man receive light from heaven. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise. Let my inner man receive light from heaven. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise. Let my inner man receive light from heaven. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise. Let my inner man receive light from heaven. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Eyes closed. We have plenty of prayers to pray in a few minutes. Listen and listen very carefully. If you pray these prayers and you lose your voice, but you obtain the breakthrough embedded in the prayers, you have made a good bargain. If you are here this evening or you are connected to this program, any time you want to move forward, any time you want to move forward, a force resists you and say, This is how far you can go. You can't go further. Nobody has ever gone further in your family. So you cannot go further. If you are in that category, make sure you don't miss any of these heaven touching prayers. In case you are here too, it seems as if all roads are blocked. When some roads open, whatever you make out of it is exhausted very quickly before problem moves in again. It's a night to lose your temper as you pray. In case you are here this evening, you know that you are under witchcraft attack. Nobody needs to tell you. You know that one. Sometimes you feel arrows entering to your body. Sometimes you feel that something is going wrong. This is not a night to joke. This is not a night to negotiate. This is not a night to care what happens to the enemy. These are prayers that touches the third heaven. Can you shout the first one loud and clear like this? Say, help from above. Help from abroad. Help from around. Can you shout for help in those three places? Let's go. Your voice is not loud enough. Yes. Overshadow my Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You must not negotiate. we pray. Uh -huh. See what is happening. That's the first one. See what is happening. You have asked for help from above. Help from abroad. And help from around to overshadow your life. You now need to aggressively demand it now. With a voice that roars like thunder. You will shout that prayer again. Help from above. Jesus 
Jesus' name we pray. As we pray this next prayer, if you are that person, listen to me. Your grandfather cast you. Please, find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Pray the way you've never prayed before. You can remember your grandfather issued curses on you. Find a way to this altar. Say, every fear slowing down my life. Can you say that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. name we pray. If you are a student here, pray like a violent prophet. Everybody shout this loud and clear. My light hear the word of the Lord. Open your mouth and decree it. It is a decree, it's a decree. them we pray say this after me say oh God arise smite my waters and let the door that has never opened to me in my life open by fire oh God arise Smite my waters. Let the doors that have never opened to me in my life open to me by fire in the name of Jesus. Command the Lord to smite your waters. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Don't say this does not concern me. Every magical power that has held me captive can you shout that loud? Make it louder than that. Break! In the name of Jesus. Break the power. Break the power. Yes. Can you shout this loud? Say, serpents of the Lord. Shout it louder. Let your voice be louder. Swallow every serpent in my life. In the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Serpents of the Lord, swallow every serpent in my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Anything representing me in any covenant. Can you shout that loud? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Anything represents me in any cover. Command you to catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Thank you, Jesus. name we pray this next prayer should be prayed three hot times after three hot times of praying it I require that you become silent so that the Holy Ghost will do his, his work say so, Holy Ghost make my miracles happen whether it wants to happen or not can you say that and let me hear you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus open your mouth begin to pray whether it wants to happen or not Holy Ghost make my miracles happen name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it a third time. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your hands upon your head and be silent yes any sickness assigned to lead to death at the count of seven jump out of your hiding place because that place is not your hiding place it's not your tabernacle one must get out of the hiding place. Thank you, Jesus. Silent. Why the Holy Ghost is doing wondrous works in the life of people fire is burning in the right leg to remove the plantation of darkness therein 
Fire is burning the womb to remove the plantation of darkness therein. Fire is burning the head to remove the serpent moving therein. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your right hand on your head. Everybody, particularly if you're a student, shout this loud and clear. Pass! Assigned to defeat my brain. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. All eyes closed. During this meeting, you just discover that sometimes it's as if your brain becomes empty find it difficult to remember things as if there is an attack on that head find a way to this altar very quickly find your way to this altar very quickly as everybody will shout this again loud and clear Holy God destroy the expectation of my enemies in the name of Jesus. Destroy the expectation of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Witchcraft embargo. Place on my rising and shining. In the name of Jesus. Put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Witchcraft embargo place on my shining horizon. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Anyone that will not eat or drink. Anyone that will not eat or drink. In order to attack me. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your right hand on your head. 
and one hand close to your belly button and shout this loud and clear. Surgeons of evil, I am available. Touch me now in the name of Jesus. name we pray. Father, amen. Bring out your oil now if you have them here. Remember, every day this month you must anoint yourself and anoint your street with oil. Father, we commit this oil unto your holy hands. Let the sanctifying power of the Holy Ghost fall upon it in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of protection, the oil of immunity, the oil of power, the oil of strength, the oil of glory. Let this oil destroy every environmental witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, let this oil form a shield of protection around God's children in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Your manna water now. Father, we commit our water unto your holy hands. Father, sanctify the water. Consecrate the water. Bless this water. Let the water carry the fire of God. Let it carry the anointing of fire. Let it carry the power of healing. The power of breakthrough. The power of fire. To demolish and destroy every plantation of darkness. In the name of Jesus, use this water to demolish every sickness. Use it to destroy every plantation of the enemy. Let the anointing of ease enter into the water. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put the water down and lay your right hand upon your head now. And let your amen roar like fire and like thunder as I pray. Make sure your amen is the loudest here. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. As many as I lay their hands on their heads now. Right there where you are. Anything representing you in the marine kingdom. Anything representing you on the altars of the Queen of the Coast. Anything representing you in any coven. I set them a blessing in the name of Jesus. I set them a blessing in the name of Jesus. I set them a blessing in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. Power that will change your life will defeat your problems. Power that will heal every sickness. Power that will bring you uncommon breakthroughs. Receive that power now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 Louder. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Yes, sir. Receive it with fire, with fire, with fire, with fire. In the name of Jesus. Every power that does not want to let you go, I command them to be arrested now. Be arrested. 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 In the name of Jesus. 
thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord blesses us from Zion. And pray these prayers without apology. Pray them like a mad prophet. Pray them like a man or woman from another world. Don't negotiate with the enemy. Immediately you open your mouth and begin to pray these prayers. The power of God will begin to move upon you wherever you are. The power of God will begin to move upon anyone who has joined this program and you are praying. Pray with fire and with power. Pray without any compromise. Pray with the spirit of enough is enough. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body. Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body. Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body. Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body. Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body. Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any conscious or unconscious poison of darkness in my body. Come out by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, as you are pronouncing your mouth, right from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, any poison of darkness, whether you know about it or you don't know about it, that is in your body, I command you to, to vomit them. Cough them out. Vomit them. Cough them out. Vomit them. Cough them out. They must depart from your body. In the name of Jesus. See, the power of God is coming upon you. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. And every yoke of this poison is removed now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and shout this louder than the first one. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of darkness fired into my body. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You the arrow of paralysis. The arrow of darkness of the eyes. The arrow of palpitation of the heart. You the arrows of serpent moving about in the body. You the arrows of fibrous in the womb. You the arrows of lumps in the body, evil lumps in the body. You the arrows of high blood pressure. You the arrows of diabetes. Hear the word of the Lord. Get out of that life in the name of Jesus. Get out of that life in the name of Jesus. Get out of that life in the name of Jesus. Come out through the mouth, through the nose. Come out. Depart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Let your voice be the loudest say. Power to be constantly in good health. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Power to be constantly in good health. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This prayer, lay your hands upon your head and pray it loud and clear. Say, I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out in the name of Jesus. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out in the name of Jesus. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out now in the name of Jesus. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out now in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray that prayer. I charge my body with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, you strangers, come out now in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. 
Makapota lika yabo shende rabo satanda. Ribo soponde keta. It is written that the strangers are fed away. And they shall be afraid out of their close places. As when as I pray now, you strangers, depart, 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 depart in the name of Jesus. Depart in the name of Jesus. That place where you are is not your habitation. You have no right to be there. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Depart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this loud and clear. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. Thou great physician, visit me now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh God, arise. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed. For thou art my praise. O oh God, arise. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed. For thou art my praise. O oh God, arise. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed. For thou art my praise. O oh God, arise. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed, for thou art my praise, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so anything I've eaten or swallowed that is troubling my body, come out in the name of Jesus. Anything I've eaten or swallowed that is troubling my body, come out now in the name of Jesus. Anything I've eaten or swallowed that is troubling my body, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Everything I've eaten or swallowed that is troubling my body. Come out in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus, they will pray. Amen. Say disease and infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. This is an infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. This is an infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. This is an infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. This is an infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. This is an infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. This is an infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. My body is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse and covenant of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree by the decree of heaven that every curse of infirmity must be broken in the name of Jesus. Any curse of infirmity working against our brother, any curse of infirmity working against our sister, be broken, 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 be broken. Every covenant of infirmity working against our brother, every covenant of infirmity working against our sister, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. In the name of Jesus, a sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Can you now shout this loud and clear? Make sure your voice is the loudest where you are. Wasters of good health. I am not your candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. Wasters of good health. I am not a candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. Depart in the name of Jesus. Depart in the name of Jesus. Wasters of good health. I am not a candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. Wasters of good health. I'm not your candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. Wasters of good health. I'm not your candidate. Depart in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Father, we thank you for another garden that the great physician hour. Thank you, Lord, because it is written that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Father, we thank you because you have promised that oppression shall be far away from your children. Father, everyone who is connected to this program, let them be candidate of mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let them have testimonies that will shock their friends and surprise their enemies in the name of Jesus. Let the deliverance power of God begin to operate now. Let the healing power of God begin to operate now. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen to this message very carefully. It is called From Deceleration to Acceleration. From Deceleration to Acceleration. In Psalm 84, verse 7. Psalm 84, verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. They go from strength to strength. The Lord wants us to go from strength to strength, not from weakness to weakness. What does it mean to decel? To decel is to slow down the rate of advancement. That is what deceleration means. There is a power to accelerate. There is a power to decelerate. To accelerate is to catch up and pass. To accelerate is to outdo. To accelerate is to rise above. To accelerate is to move ahead in achievement. To accelerate is to have the upper hand or to outshine others. This is what it means. When the power of divine acceleration comes upon a man, a lot of things will happen to that person. But when the person does not have that power of acceleration, a lot of things then go wrong and deceleration takes place. There is something called deceleration dreams. The first thing to notice when attack of deceleration starts are those dreams. Number one, dreams of going back to old school, dreams of going back to old house, dreams of seeing dead relatives, dreams of wearing old clothes, dreams of going back to the place of birth, dreams of playing around with friends of youth which you have not seen for years, dreams of climbing a mountain and getting to nowhere, dreams of being in a steering-less vehicle, dreams of being in a driver-less vehicle, dreams of being lost in the forest or wilderness, dreams of seeing yourself always in the same spot or inside the same building, dreams of being held down by overpowering powerful forces, dreams of taking exams you already know you had passed in the physical, Dreams of going back to old schools and sitting on old chairs that used to sit one when one was younger. Dreams of always going back to the old family house. Always going back to the old family house. Dreams of always going back to the houses one lived in the past. Dreams of going back to where one was an apprentice or where one studied before. Dreams of seeing oneself back in the secondary school university you passed through with students you studied with. Dreams of corpses, coffins, or attending funeral services. Dreams of being uncuffed or chained. Dreams of walking barefootedly. Dreams of ear remover. All these are deceleration dreams. I pray that every power of deceleration shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. There is a power called the power of divine acceleration. What is that divine acceleration? It's for the Almighty God to give you speed to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. It is God's hands coming upon you to outrun those who are ahead of you. It is God's leading coming upon you to set the standards. It is God's hands of power coming upon you to raise the bar with what has not been done before. It is divine advancement. It is divine fast forwarding. It is for you to be connected to divine courier service. That is divine acceleration. It's fast tracking your journey in life. It's supernatural lifting up. 
Divine acceleration is getting ahead of your colleagues. It's you becoming a pace setter. It's you overtaking your colleagues and competitors in the race of life. It's you walking while others are crawling and running while others are walking. It's you flying while others are running. It's you enjoying extraordinary speed. It's God giving you rapid progress, catapulting you from the back to the front. It's enjoying divine speed. The arm that came upon Elijah that increased his speed so that he ran 30 miles ahead of the chariot of Ahab. That is the hand of divine acceleration. The hand that came upon Elijah is that hand that brings divine acceleration. Divine acceleration is increasing speed through God's power. It is speedy progress. It is hasting steps towards your destiny enabled by God. May the Lord arise and accelerate your journey in the name of Jesus. When you enjoy divine acceleration, what took others 30 years will take you two years. When that injection of divine acceleration enters into your bone, you don't struggle where others are struggling. You do not suffer satanic delay. Your efforts are not aborted. There is no problem with breaking down at the point of breakthroughs. Setbacks are buried, and power of major setbacks are reversed. When you encounter divine acceleration, there are some powers that specialize in turning hero to zero, in turning celebrity to nonentity, in turning pastors to parrots. There are powers that specialize in this. But thank God, there is an anointing called the anointing of divine acceleration, which can move a man from deceleration to acceleration. And to encounter that anointing, means God to restore your wasted years. Did Elijah with his legs not overtake Ahab was on a horse? It means that God will make you to overtake smarter and wiser people. And then the despised shall become the celebration, the last shall become the first, the servant shall become the master, the poor shall become the performer, the zero man shall become the hero, then the anonymous and unknown shall become the anointed. This is the situation when you key yourself into the power of divine acceleration. The Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. To encounter divine acceleration, number one, you need to become a friend of God. Number two, you need to repent from every known sin. Number three, you need to be desperately uneasy with your current position. You need the spirit of divine dissatisfaction. You need to be able to cry out, I am divinely dissatisfied. And I want to move to the next level. May the Lord lay his hands upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. May that spirit of divine acceleration come upon you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord arise for a second in every area in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. In case you are in this program, you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus. You have an opportunity to do so now. By say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and every one at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I rejoice with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. You will pray like this. 
and pray with fire and with power. There are seven prayers to pray now. As these prayers go on, those who have been having trouble with evil family patterns, you feel fire flowing through your body and you shall be delivered. Those whose names are on evil altars, the altars calling your name, you feel sensations in your body and you'll be delivered. Those whose virtues have been transferred to the camp of the enemy, you feel the vibration of the Holy Ghost in your body and whatever virtue that has been stolen from you shall come rushing back to you. Those who have been made to undergo witchcraft burial, they're just moving about, but your physical body is actually buried. You will see the fire of God flowing through your body, and you will be instantly delivered. Those who are suffering from witchcraft-sponsored infirmities, as these prayers are going on, you may feel uncomfortable. Don't worry, just continue the prayers. You may be sweating. Don't worry, just continue the prayers. You may feel dizzy. Sit down. Just continue the prayers. This is why I've instructed that when this prayer starts, clear anything with sharp edges away from where you are praying or sit down somewhere because you may fall down. Those whose dream life is a battlefield, as these prayers are going on, they will be delivered. Those who have bad clinical prophecy against them, bad medical report, they will be instantly delivered as they pray these prayers. Those who have been tormented by chains of untimely death, they'll be delivered as they pray these prayers. So let your voice be the loudest while you are praying. And this is not a time to negotiate. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers, torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up. In the name of Jesus, powers, torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Powers torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. Power torturing me because of my glory. Lion of Judah, tear them up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so environmental Pharaoh, environmental Goliath, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh, environmental Goliath, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh, environmental Goliath, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh. Environmental Goliath, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh, environmental Goliath, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh, environmental Goliath, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh, environmental Goliath, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Environmental Pharaoh, environmental Goliath, die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray this with boiling anger. Satanic carpenters, building coffins for me. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters, building coffins for me. Enter into your coffin and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters, building coffins for me. Enter into your coffin and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters, building coffins for me. Enter into your coffin and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters, building coffins for me. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters, building coffins for me. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. Satanic carpenters, building coffins for me. Enter into your coffins and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tell this loud. Say, powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. 
Powers are signed to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to quench my life. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to tear my garment of glory. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So ancient battles are signed to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are signed to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are signed to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are signed to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are signed to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are signed to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancient battles are signed to pull me down. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lose your temper as you pray this next one. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to pursue me unto death dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. Dies suddenly in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A sevenfold amen. 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 Father, I commit your children unto your holy hands who have joined this particular broadcast. Makapo rakate setende ke yabo shandiraba. Naribo soponde ketende kenda. Any agent of darkness dwelling in the life of anyone, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse of infirmity. I break every covenant of infirmity. I bind and cast out the property of the strong man in the life of anyone in this broadcast. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I decree that any power planning to stop your progress shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. And any power pushing you to be disgraced shall die speedily in the name of Jesus. All the hard battles that have been fighting, that is a plan to make your destiny a sorrow to your generation. I command those hard battles to become victory for you in the name of Jesus. All the satanic lions are assigned against you by the enemy shall be eaten by their own lions. They shall be eaten by their own lions. They shall be eaten by their own lions. In the name of Jesus, every power assigned to stop your reign of progress, I stop them now. I stop them now. I stop them now by the power and the blood of Jesus. I stop them in the name of Jesus. All the battles that are attached to your glory that has been troubling your destiny, I command those battles to become testimonies for you, to become testimonies for you, to become testimonies for you, to become testimonies for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every dark river flowing in your family that is flowing across to you, I stop that flow now. In the name of Jesus, I stop that flow now. In the name of Jesus, I stop that flow now. In the name of Jesus, I stop that flow now. In the name of Jesus, Makapota Likaya Boshandaraba. Ribosoponde Ketende Lekeya Boshenderaba. 
raise up your right hand to the heavenlies now. Raise it up to the heavenlies. Father, these hands that are raised up, let them become the hands of healing. Let them become the hands of deliverance. Let them become the hands of breakthrough. Your word says we shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let this hand carry the fire of God. Let it carry the healing power of God. Let it carry the healing anointing of Jehovah. Let it kill every infirmity. Let it kill every sickness. Let it kill every oppression. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let it kill every satanic stronghold. Let it kill all the plan of the wicked elders. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire, enter into these hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost, enter into these hands. Holy Ghost fire, enter into these hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost, enter into these hands. Holy Ghost fire, enter into these hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost, enter into these hands. Holy Ghost fire, enter into these hands. Fire of the Holy Ghost, enter into the hands. Get yourself ready now. Makapo lakaya boshanda. Ribo soponde keya bosa. Start from the head. When I count seven from here, smite the head. Smite it aggressively. Yes, every plantation of darkness in the head and the body, in the whole of your personality, shall jump out instantly. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, do the head again, the head again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now go to the chest area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Now go to your stomach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now go to any area where you have any infirmity in your body and smite it hard, shouting, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Shouting, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. As you smite it 21 times. Let's go. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Now begin to exercise your body. Do whatever thing you could not do before. If you cannot run, begin to run. We cannot walk, begin to walk. We cannot see, begin to see. If we cannot hear, begin to hear. The power of God is coming upon you. And it's going from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. It's going from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. That's the power of God. 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 It's flowing upon you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Makatendale kayabo shandarabo. Ribo soponde ketende raba. I decree upon your life, eh, you that you are listening to me, that every demonic presence in your body is not permitted to continue. Receive your deliverance. 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 Receive your breakthrough. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. As I mentioned these arrows, you will shout, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. You shout it three times on every arrow. And make sure that your voice is the loudest where you are. Arrows of disfavor, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of failure, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of bad health, go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of joblessness, 
Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of untimely death. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of vagabond life. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of suicidal tendencies. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of addictions. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of gynecological problems. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of chain problems. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of confusion. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of being disgraced out of breakthrough. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of infirmities. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of demotion. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of hardship. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of frustration. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of dream oppressions. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of strange accidents. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the mark of hatred. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of constant spiritual attack. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of paralysis. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of sadness. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of attack on children. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of business failure. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of tragedy. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of spiritual blindness. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of stagnancy. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of devourers. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of satanic delay. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of buried talents and virtues. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of evil diversion. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of bewitchment. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Arrows of dead organs. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen. 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 Father, I'm praying for your children who have joined this great physician hour. Let your healing power flow into the body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, the testimonies, the miracles of Jesus today shall be permanent in your life. And affliction will never rise again in your life in the name of Jesus. You will go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. The Almighty will continue to bombard your life with miracles, signs, and wonders in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord will perfect everything that concerns you by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns you by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns you by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns you by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the mightiness of the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you because you want us to be revived. You want your power in our lives. Father, I'm praying right now that as many as are joined to this program, that your power will fall upon them mightily in the name of Jesus, that you will revive them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that fresh fire of your power will burn in our body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Tonight, we're looking at a secret. And we're going to be looking at what I call 
alone with God. Alone with God. In Genesis chapter 32, Genesis 32 from verse 22. Genesis 32 from verse 22. This is the story of Jacob. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the fort Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the book and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the oil of his side, and the oil of Jacob's side was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, as thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. All this happened when Jacob was alone. In Isaiah chapter 30, Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15, we see a very powerful scripture. Isaiah 30 15, it says this, For thou said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest shall he be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength, and you will not. Now in Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Mark 1, 35. And the morning, rising up a great while before day, this is Jesus, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. And in same Mark chapter 4, verse 34, Mark 4, 34, says this. Mark chapter 4, verse 34. But without a parable spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expanded all things to his disciples. When they were alone, he expanded all things to his disciples. Listen very carefully, beloved. The secret of strength lies in quietness. Being quiet. And quietness, beloved, is greatly praised in the Bible. How many biblical references praising quietness? Quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Noise does not indicate strength. It has been well said that the empty barrels make the loudest noise. In life, if you look at it very well, it is those quiet forces, those quiet forces that have the greatest effect. Look at the forces of light, it's quiet. Look at the forces of gravitation, it's quiet. Those forces are all silent, yet they touch our lives. If we want to be strong, we must learn to be quiet. If we want to be strong, we must learn to be quiet. One reason for our shallowness in spirit is the lack of quiet time. Being busy is just an excuse. There is always a time to be quiet. No believer will grow if he doesn't observe quiet time. Some have converted the quiet time to an emergency quiet time or once in a blue moon quiet time or when I have a bad dream quiet time or when I'm not feeling okay quiet time but quiet time should be a regular part of our life. We've read Genesis 32 we've read Mark chapter 4, Mark chapter 1 and I want you to understand this very well. There is something called solitude. Solitude is being alone by choice. There is power in strategic loneliness. The greatest men, and listen to this hard truth, the greatest men who have made impacts have been lonely. 
No, Enoch walked with God, and he was not. God took him. He was only walking with God. When you learn to get rid of the noise and nonsense of this world out of your spirit, you begin to climb another spiritual heart. Loneliness is one big price men with high voltage vision must pay. Many of us dread being alone. Many of us don't like to uh, go on retreat, isolate ourselves. Some would rather be dead than being alone. Being alone with God, beloved, as therapeutic, renewing, re-energizing, and strengthening power. Re-energizing, renewing power. But somehow, we allow the enemy to seal our time. Let's look at Jacob a little bit. Jacob was in a mess. He had to run to God. Jacob has spent his life wrestling with people. He wrestled with Esau. He wrestled with Isaac. He wrestled with Laban. He wrestled with his wives. So now God came to him now as a wrestler. It is when we are alone with God that is able to mold us into something that he can use. Let me say that again. It is when we are alone with God, he's able to mold us into something that he can use. There are some things that men will never learn from heaven when others are around. There are some things that men will never learn from heaven while others are surrounding them. One main reason for our spiritual failure today is activity that are not preceded by aloneness or inactivity. You just rush into activity. By this, I mean activities that are not preceded with getting along with God, waiting in silence and quietness so that God can charge our spirit man, God can tell our spirit man what to do, so that the voice of God can speak unto us. I mean, waiting for that divine life to move down from the throne of God into our soul. We don't do that. That is, we become a divinely tuned guitar by God, a divinely tuned musical instrument by God. We get to a stage when we have our battery charged from heaven. Even a little silence in our noisy, busy lives can bring greater clarity and sharper vision. Time alone with yourself and alone with your God will transport you into another realm. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Without great solitude, no serious work is possible. In solitude, the mind gains strength. It is true that conversation enriches the understanding. But solitude is the school of the genius. Solitude is the audience chamber of God. The audience chamber of God. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. True silence is resting your mind. Silence is to the spirit what sleep is to the body. Silence is to the spirit what sleep is to the body. That is, silence nourishes and refreshes the spirit. It is only in quiet waters that things mirror themselves undistorted. And the water is turbulent and is so so noisy and so troubled, you cannot mirror yourself there. If you mirror yourself on the troubled water, your image will be distorted. So solitude, beloved, is the price of greatness. Solitude in which you are alone with God will make you the greatest of the great. True solitude means being alone with God. Without that solitude, you will never encounter your angel of promotion. Enoch walked with God and was not. For God took him. Enoch was a lonely man. 
Noah too was a lonely man. Noah too in his days was a lonely man. As far as we know, not one word did God ever speak to Abraham in the company of other men. Moses was also a man who practiced being alone. All powerful ancient prophets bore in common an enforced loneliness. You cannot carry your cross in a company. Every man must carry his or her own cross. The loneliness of the Christian results from his work with God in this ungodly world. The true spiritual man, beloved, is actually a very strange man. The Bible calls us peculiar creatures. The true spiritual man does not live for himself, but to promote the interests of others. It lies not to be worshipped, but to see the Savior glorified. It lies not to be honored, but to see the Savior glorified. So spending time alone with God can help us to listen to our innermost voice that speaks, but many people don't take care to listen to what their innermost voices are saying. Certain tasks and thought processes are best carried out when no one is around. So solitude, although it's one of the most difficult spiritual disciplines, but it empowers us to see clearly true things in a godly perspective. That's why introverts are more likely to cave into solitary tones and get information that extroverts will not get. Beloved, the blunt truth is this. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Solitude results in, number one, more productivity. Number two, time conservation. Number three, divine energy. Number four, deep spiritual knowledge. Number five, spiritual clarity. Number six, divine redirections. Number seven, divine enablement. Solitude results in, number one, more productivity. Two, time conservation. Three, divine energy. Four, deep spiritual knowledge. Five, spiritual clarity. Six, divine redirections. And seven, divine enablement. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. You must practice strategic loneliness. I'm not saying you should run away from people. I'm not saying you should avoid your family. I'm not saying you should use it as an excuse not to talk to people. I'm talking about strategic loneliness. Loneliness that you plan out, being alone with God that you planned out by yourself. A spiritual retreat. Solitude is the absence of distractions. When you are really ready, there are strategies for this. Let me go into the strategies. Solitude is really absence of distractions of life, absence of people, computers, televisions, phones, radio, newspapers, games, music, tablets, and so on and so forth. Solitude can be getting away from everybody just for a while. It's not permanent, it's just for a while. Solitude can be locking yourself in your room for a few minutes in peaceful quiet. It doesn't have to be one day, two days, three days, four days. It could be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour, two hours. You just stay quietly in your room. Solitude may be a few minutes just to be alone with God. Solitude may be getting to work earlier than everybody. Bow down your heads to be in quiet presence of the Lord. Solitude may be a few minutes before we get out of bed in the morning. Solitude may be going to a peaceful corner during a break in your place of work. It is a great advantage to be alone with God. The Bible says, in quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Can you say that three times? In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. 
in quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. It could be for a few minutes on walking to your bus stop or walking to other places. You switch off your music, switch off your phone. You can budget for the five minutes a day to be alone with God. It is a lamentable tragedy that we have joined ourselves to the same world we are set to protest against. We are set to protest against this world, we have joined the world, and it's a very sad thing. So our generation is a very, very noisy generation. We are not deep because of lack of quietness in the spirit to learn from God. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. This situation on the ground now is granted a lot of people opportunity to be alone with God. Don't waste that opportunity. Start practicing the presence of God. Start practicing being alone with God. I have questions for you. Have you ever heard the Lord's still small voice? The still small voice of the Lord. Do you have a noisy inner man? Or is your heart a zoo of animals making strange noises? When last were you quiet for 30 minutes? You were quiet, sat in a place, meditating on the things of God for half an hour. Are you able to just sit down without the noise of radio, TV, or internet? Does silence bother you? If silence bother you, you do have work to do. Is there a satanic party always going on inside of you? Do you have trouble meditating? Are your emotions orderly or disorderly? When last were you in a place so quiet you could hear a pin drop? When last? In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. All the noises in the heart, all the noises in the environment, all the distractions have ended up producing powerless crystals. Quietness is the calm in the soul. Psalm 131, verse 1 to 3. Quietness is listening to God. Proverbs 133. Quietness is waiting on God. Lamentations 3, 25 to 30. Quietness is the opposite of storm. Mark 4, 39. Quietness is an orderly life. 1 Thessalonians 4, 9 to 12. Quietness is a treasure of great value. It is incorruptible and an adornment to the hidden man of the heart. If you are not getting anything from what I'm saying now, get it to your spirit that you need to practice quietness, strategic loneliness. So quietness is to be desired. Quietness is precious and beautiful to God. First Peter 3, 3 to 4. So when we say somebody has a quiet spirit, to have a quiet spirit means that you have order and control over your emotions, order and control over your spirit, order and control over your thoughts. And listen to this very well, beloved. God comes to us in our quiet moments to speak and to teach. God comes to us in our quiet moments to speak and to teach. The quietness of the inside will translate to a peaceful existence on the outside. Once the inside is quiet, it translates to a peaceful existence on the outside. The quietness of that inside will defend you against temptation. He who has learned to be quiet spares himself oftentimes from shame. Keeping quiet will help those who always betray their ignorance and reveal their true character. Keeping quiet will help them. Somebody has said, you cannot misquote silence. You cannot misquote silence. And I remember when I was working on my PhD in the United Kingdom, one saying, one thing they were emphasizing to us is this. They say, the more words that are spoken, the more words are available to be questioned. So let your words be few. The more words that are spoken, the more words are available to be questioned. 
Therefore, let your words be few. We should cultivate strategic quietness to enable us to meet God in the altar of prayer. Many words who are spoken against others, words that should never have been said. Many speak without thinking of the effects of those words. They speak words which pierce hearts, break relationship, inflict injuries which can never be repaired. So sometimes you need to cultivate strategic quietness towards what you say to others. We may sometimes pity the dumb. The fact is that dumbness is better than bitter, angry, abusive, or sharp-cutting words. Speech is silver, somebody has said, but silence is gold. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. That is, don't be agitated. Do you know, beloved, I'm telling you a fact, that there are two things you could do that would change your life totally. Do you know that meditating 15 minutes a day could change your life? Just 15 minutes a day of meditation. So this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate there in day and night. That meditation alone can change your life completely. Do you also know that if you speak in tongues, you pray in tongues one hour every day, you do it consistently for two months. Every day, one hour, by the end of two months, you will have become another man, another woman. Those two things can change your life. Meditation, for at least 15 minutes a day, speaking in tongues. Quietness of the spirit is strength of the spirit. Quietness of the spirit is something that can be learned. We can learn it. Psalm 131 verse 2. Quietness of the spirit. Psalm 131 verse 2. As this to say, surely I have behaved and quieted myself. Even as a winged child, we can learn it. It's something that can be learned. Quietness of the spirit. And I tell you, it will be a great benefit to you. The Bible says, study to be quiet. The Lord blesses an atmosphere of quiet calmness. People who devote time to being alone with God always have fresh reservoir of personal strength and quiet confidence. Beloved, know this and know this well. God speaks loudly in the stillness of our spirits. We need to quiet ourselves so that we can hear him clearly. We need to quiet the world around us. Many are just too busy and our words are just too loud. Quietness is not soft and easy. Quietness is strength. Only the really strong person can be quiet. Only the quiet person can really, really be strong. I pray that the Lord will minister life unto you in the name of Jesus. Whenever you feel that you have so much to do and you can't possibly get everything done, then it is time to stop, take a break. It's time for a pause. All of us need to learn the art of quietness. It is an art which takes practice and skill. We need to practice the art of quietness, the art of doing nothing, just being alone with God. The still small voice of God cannot be detected over the clamor of our noisy woman mind, over the clamor of our noisy woman life. You get out in the morning, you get into the noisy traffic. You get into your office, you get into the noisy staff. You close from work, you get into the noisy environment. You jump out from your car, you jump to the noisy television. And so there is so much noise all over the place. So the very first thing necessary for a person who wants to be great in the Lord is to quieten the mind. When we say to our busy mind, it becomes receptive to the inner presence of God. So your progress depends on your ability to meditate. Thou shalt meditate on it day and night. Then you make your way prosperous. By that you shall have good success through the key of meditation. We will grow more spiritually, beloved, if we were more alone and accomplish more, if we attempted less, if we practice strategic loneliness. Let us seek to redeem our time by adjusting some of our unnecessary habits of daily life to that of meditation and waiting upon God. Jacob was alone when the angel wrestled with him all night. There was nobody around. Moses was alone in the back side of that desert when an angel of God appeared to him. In every life, there must be a pause so that a better thing can come. The strenuousness of our life today with the increasing distraction demands 
that deep Christian must seek a zone of quiet and silence and practice being alone with God. Beloved, you have heard this teaching. Put it into practice. Begin from today. Set time apart. Observe spiritual retreat. Be quiet in your mind. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. I want to encourage you. Don't be alarmed at anything that is going on around you. Don't be alarmed at what the enemy is trying to broadcast. Don't be alarmed at any scary thing anybody is saying. Know for sure you have a God who knows all things, who can do all things. Know for sure that there is a power that is above all powers. Know for sure that there is a God whose word is the overruling word. Make it your practice. Go to quiet places. Take your Bible. Take a verse. Take verses, take chapters, meditate, pray, pray in the spirit, pray in your understanding, make it a regular habit, be quiet before the Lord, so that you can hear the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. It is time to pray now. Let your voice be the loudest where you are, and get yourself ready to have an encounter with heaven. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to pull me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle. Assigned to put me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to put me down, die in the name of Jesus. Any ancient battle assigned to put me down, die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Agents of darkness. My life is not your candidate. Clear the way in the name of Jesus. Agents of darkness, my life is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Agents of darkness, my life is not your candidate. Clear away in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My mockers, you are liars. I shall not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. My mockers said, you are liars. I shall not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. My mockers said, you are liars. I shall not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. My mockers said, you are liars. I shall not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. The battle of you shall not be congratulated. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to waste my time and years. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sing this song loud and clear. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases.
is mercy's never come to an end they are new every morning new every morning great is thy faithfulness o lord great is thy faithfulness the steadfast love the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercy is never come to an end they are new every morning new every morning great is thy faithfulness o lord great is thy faithfulness you are the pillar that holds my life you are the pillar that holds my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life you are the pillar you are the pillar that holds my life you are the pillar that holds my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life master jesus you are the pillar that holds my life father we thank you for the power in the blood of jesus father we thank you for the victory won on the cross of calvary father we thank you for your name which is above all names father we thank you for the mightiness of the name of the lord we thank you because your name is the absolute name the absolute power your power is the absolute power your name is the absolute name there is no power that is beyond your power. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, we are gathered at this prayer outreach. Meet each and every one at the point of their needs. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Lord, move in our lives in a new way. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Volcanic prayers for divine acceleration volcanic prayers to secure divine acceleration in first kings chapter 18 from verse 45 first kings 18 verse 45 and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was a great rain and air rode and went to Israel, and he gathered up his lungs and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. He overran the chariot of the king and the horses. And in Psalm 84, verse 7, it says, They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. They go from strength to strength. This is a prophetic message. Listen carefully, beloved. The only thing some people need to move ahead is for the Almighty to increase their speed. This is what I'm prophesying upon your lives now. Everyone shall increase your speed. 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 In the name of Jesus. And as you pray this volcanic prayer to secure divine acceleration today, everyone shall increase your speed. And you shall have divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus. What is divine acceleration? Divine acceleration is for the Almighty God to give you speed and he shall give you speed in the name of Jesus. Divine acceleration is to receive the speed to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. Divine acceleration is God's hands coming upon you to outrun those ahead of you. Divine acceleration is God's leading coming upon you to become a pace setter or to set the standards. Divine acceleration is God's hands of power coming upon you to raise the bar 
with what has not been done before. Divine acceleration is divine advancement. Divine acceleration is divine fast forwarding. Divine acceleration is divine elevation. Divine acceleration is divine courier service. Divine acceleration is fast tracking your journey in life. A supernatural lifting up. A getting ahead of your colleagues. Divine acceleration is being a pace setter. Divine acceleration is overtaking your colleagues and competitors in the race of life. Divine acceleration is walking while others are crawling. Divine acceleration is running while others are walking. Divine acceleration is flying while others are running. Divine acceleration is to enjoy extraordinary speed. Divine acceleration is the almighty God giving you rapid progress. Divine acceleration is almighty God catapulting you from the back to the front. Divine acceleration is enjoying divine speed. I pray for you that every form of delay in your life shall be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, they shall be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, every agenda of delay shall be dissolved in your life. In the name of Jesus, that hand that came upon Elijah shall come upon you in the name of Jesus. Every must wage war against the powers waging war against you. God will add to your speed. God will add to your progress. Receive divine acceleration by the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive divine acceleration by the power in the blood of Jesus. If you cry out in this program today, the Almighty God will surely esteem your speed. This is an assurance. Divine acceleration is increasing speed through God's power. Divine acceleration is speedy progress. Divine acceleration is 18 steps towards destiny enabled by God. Divine acceleration means always being ahead of others. Can you shout this loud and clear? Oh God, arise and accelerate my journey. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and accelerate my journey. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and accelerate my journey. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and accelerate my journey. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When you enjoy divine acceleration, what took others 30 years will take you to. When you enjoy divine acceleration, people we turn you to a spectacle. When you join divine acceleration, you move at a speed that will daze your enemies and surprise your friends. Say this after me. Say, my father, you are the great physician. Give me the injection of divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus, my father, you are the great physician. Give me the injection of divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus, give me the injection of divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus. When divine acceleration enters into your bones, you don't struggle like your contemporaries. You don't struggle like your parents. You do not suffer satanic delay. Your efforts are not aborted. You don't suffer from breakdown at the point of breakthrough. You don't suffer from when your setbacks are overcoming you. Rather, your setbacks are buried. Say, I receive the anointing. For divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive the anointing. For divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I receive the anointing. For divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pharaoh said, I will overtake them. I will pursue them. But he failed woefully. Elijah overtook the chariots of Ahab. What does it mean to overtake? Remember what David said, Sir, shall I pursue, shall I overtake? God said, pursue them. You shall surely overtake. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. What does it mean to overtake? It means to catch up with and pass. What does it mean to overtake? It means to move ahead in achievement, to beat others, to subdue others, to get past others, to excel, to outrun, to leave others behind, to get ahead, to outdistance, to out surplus, to conquer, to outshine. I decree once again 
as you shout this loud demand where you are, louder than anyone around you, that you will overtake those ahead of you. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake those more gifted than you. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake those who are more connected than you. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake those that are more intelligent than you. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake your superiors. In the name of Jesus, this is why you must not envy anyone or compare yourself to others. The fact that they are ahead of you today does not mean the story ascended. John the Baptist arrived late, but shook Israel. Your God will do the same thing for you in the name of Jesus. So do not pity yourself. You will overpower the lions in their dens. In the name of Jesus, you will overpower the lions in their dens. In the name of Jesus, you will overpower the lions in their dens. In the name of Jesus, you will overpower the lions in their dens. In the name of Jesus, you will conquer by fire, by force. You will conquer by fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, you will paralyze the wicked in their craftiness. In the name of Jesus, you will paralyze the wicked in their craftiness. In the name of Jesus. Did Elijah with his legs not overtake Ahab who was on a horse? God will certainly restore your wasted years. In the name of Jesus, you will overtake those smarter, richer, and wiser than you. In the name of Jesus, the despised have become the celebrated. The last shall become the first. The servant shall become the master. The poor shall become the performer. The zero shall become the hero. The anonymous and unknown shall become the anointed. No matter how long it takes, your life will surprise your friend and shock your enemies in the name of Jesus. Remember, Esther's story changed within 14 days. The story of blind Bartimaeus changed within hours. After 38 years of affliction, the story of the sick man by the pool of Bethesda changed within hours. Whether Satan likes it or not, whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, your Eastern story must change. 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 In the name of Jesus. It took 24 hours for Job's nine months suffering to end. You expected change is coming. You will dominate those that despise you. You will rule over those that ridicule you. You will mesmerize those that confront you. Your life shall prove that the God of Elijah is still on duty. Hallelujah. Your life shall prove that the God of Elijah is still on duty. Hallelujah. Your life shall prove that the God of Elijah is still on duty. Hallelujah. What are the steps to take if you want to key yourself to divine acceleration and you want to overtake your enemies, pursue them, and recover what they've stolen? 20 steps, 20 keys, and 20 steps. One, become born again. Surrender your life to Jesus. This is not negotiable. Two, never think or speak negatively about yourself anymore because it puts you in disagreement with God. Three, have a divine encounter. Four, let the flesh die in your life. Five, be filled with the Holy Ghost. Six, be a prayer addict. Seven, be a Bible addict. Eight, Engage in purposeful fasting. Nine, wrestle in prayers. Ten, memorize scriptures. Meditate on scriptures. It is important to memorize scriptures. Meditate upon scriptures. Eleven, do not compare yourself to anybody else. You are unique. You are one of a kind. You are an original. Do not settle for being a photocopy. Twelve, Focus on your potentials and not on your limitations. 13. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. 14. Learn to undo criticism. Let it develop instead of discouraging you. Learn to undo criticism. Let it develop you instead of discouraging you. 15. Be persistent and never give up. 16. Choose the right relationships. 17. Discover your destiny. 18. Conquer your fears. 19. Go out of your way to be a blessing to others. 20. Be broken, be humble. 
and 21 complete your deliverance complete your deliverance amen in case you have listened to this message you are not born again before we start the volcanic prayer for divine acceleration i would like you to surrender your life to jesus I bow down your ears and see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, take control of my life as I surrender to you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. Who have surrendered their lives to you in this program. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon their lives. Let them experience the touch and power of Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Time for that prayer of divine acceleration. Shout this loud and clear. I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my life into the socket of divine acceleration. By the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power to pursue my enemies, to overtake them and recover what they have stolen. Fall upon me now in the name of Jesus. Power to pursue my enemies, to overtake them and recover whatever they have stolen. I receive you now in the name of Jesus. I receive you now in the name of Jesus. Power to pursue my pursuers, overtake them and recover what they have said. Come upon me now. Come upon me now in the name of Jesus. Let that power come upon me now in the name of Jesus. Power to pursue my pursuers, overtake what they have said and recover it. Come upon me now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say strange things. Reducing my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Strength things reducing my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Strength things reducing my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any strength in my family stealing our joy. Blood of Jesus wash them off in the name of Jesus. Any strength in our family still in my joy. Blood of Jesus, wash them off in the name of Jesus. Any strength in my family still in our joy. Blood of Jesus, wash them off. Blood of Jesus, wash them off in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any strength power sleeping and waking with me. Oh God, expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Any strength power sleeping and working with me. Oh God, expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Every strength power sleeping and working with me. Oh God, expose and disgrace them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So power, sir. Assigned to lock me in the room of forgetfulness. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to lock me in the room of forgetfulness. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, destroy them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Every curse dragging me away from the solution to my problems. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse dragging me away from the solution to my problems. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse dragging me away from solution to my problems. Break by fire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every agent of darkness troubling my life. Be uprooted and disgraced in the name of Jesus. 
Every agent of darkness troubling my life, uh, be uprooted and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted and disgraced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every rage of darkness against my life, uh, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Uh, Every rage of darkness against my life, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Every rage of darkness against my life, be silenced in the name of Jesus. Every rage of darkness against my life, be silenced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So powers adjusting my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Powers adjusting my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Power has adjusted my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Power has adjusted my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Power has adjusted my life for affliction. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The secret to the strange power troubling my life. Be exposed and terminated in the name of Jesus. The secret of the strange power troubling my life eh? be exposed and be terminated in the name of Jesus. The secret of the strange power troubling my life eh? be exposed and be terminated in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say the battle that my parents left for me to fight. Eh? Oh God, arise and silence them in the name of Jesus. Eh? The battle that my parents left for me to fight. Eh? O oh God, arise and silence them in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and silence them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every covenant creating room for battle in my life. Break away in the name of Jesus. Every covenant uh, creating room for battles in my life. Uh, break away in the name of Jesus. Uh, every covenant uh, creating room for battles in my life. Uh, break away in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Oh God arise. Uh, the way that did not open for my parents. Uh, open the way for me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise the way that did not open for my parents. Open the gate for me in the name of Jesus. Open this for me in the name of Jesus. Open the way for me in the name of Jesus. Open the way for me in the name of Jesus. The way that did not open for my parents. Oh God, arise and open the way for me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let your voice be the loudest as we shout this next prayer. Stubborn power, sir. Assigned to make me a history while I'm still alive. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Stubborn powers are assigned to make me history while I'm still alive. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. Lose your power over me now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Strangers that have become kings in the camp of my destiny. O oh God, arise and judge them quickly in the name of Jesus. Strangers that have become kings in the camp of my destiny. O oh God, arise and judge them quickly in the name of Jesus. Strangers that have become kings in the camp of my destiny. O oh God, arise and judge them quickly in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So storm of the Lord. Storm of the law, pursue and overtake all powers conspiring against my life. In the name of Jesus, Storm of the Lord, pursue and overtake all powers conspiring against my life. In the name of Jesus, Storm of the Lord, pursue and overtake all powers conspiring against my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh God, arise. And scatter every judgment of darkness eh, against my life in the name of Jesus. 
Oh God, arise and scatter every judgment of darkness against my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and scatter every judgment of darkness against my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and scatter every judgment of darkness against my life. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I'm praying for all those who have joined this outreach. Right there where you are, receive the power of divine acceleration. Move forward by fire, by power. Move forward by fire, by power. Move forward by fire, by power. Any agent of darkness, I also pull you down. I pull them down in the name of Jesus. After this prayer meeting, you shall have uncommon testimonies. You shall have uncommon breakthroughs. You shall have uncommon testimonies. You shall have uncommon breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. In in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, if my life is answering the judgment of the wicked, oh God, arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. If my life is answering the judgment of the wicked, oh God, arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. If my life is answering the judgment of the wicked, oh God, arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and deliver me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So which crap battles in my life? Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Which crap battles in my life? Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Which crap battles in my life? Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Which crap battles in my life? Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Which crap battles in my life? Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any covenant that handed me over to wicked elders, break by the blood of Jesus. Any covenant that handed me over to wicked elders, break by the blood of Jesus. 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 Blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Say, my God shall bless me. And all the enemies of my financial progress shall be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, my God shall bless me. And all the enemies of, of my financial progress shall be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, my God shall bless me. And all the enemies of my financial progress shall be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The fire of unstoppable progress begin to burn in my life and refuse to be quenched. In the name of Jesus, fire of unstoppable progress begin to burn in my life and refuse to be quenched. In the name of Jesus, fire of unquenchable progress begin to burn in my life and refuse to be quenched. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, anointing to prosper on every side. Fall upon me like rain in the name of Jesus. Anointing to prosper on every side. Fall upon me like rain in the name of Jesus. Anointing to prosper on every side. Fall upon me by rain in the name of Jesus. Anointing to prosper on every side. Fall upon me by, like rain in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, thou rag of darkness, covering my financial star, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thou rag of darkness, covering my financial star, catch fire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, my head. I enter into the blood of Jesus and be delivered from bewitchment of bad luck in the name of Jesus. My head, I enter into the blood of Jesus and be delivered from the bewitchment of bad luck in the name of Jesus. My head, I enter into the blood of Jesus and be delivered from the bewitchment of bad luck in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thou horn of my glory, be lifted above failure. In the name of Jesus, thou horn of my glory, be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
three more prayers to pray and pray it with violence and with fire. Generational favor overshadow my destiny in the name of Jesus. Generational favor overshadow my destiny in the name of Jesus. Generational favor overshadow my destiny in the name of Jesus. Generational favor overshadow my destiny in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every unseen evil and chasing vapor away from my life. With that in the name of Jesus. Every unseen evil hand chasing favor away from my life. With that in the name of Jesus. 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 Every unseen evil hand chasing favor away from my life. With that in the name of Jesus. With that in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any evil voice crying in my foundation against my favor. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Any evil voice uh, crying in my foundation against my favor. Be silenced by, by the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this prayer outreach. I pray that every prayer that I pray shall become testimonies. The hand of God will arise and give you divine acceleration. You shall move forward by fire and by power. It is well with you. It is well with your family. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. No evil shall be for you. No plague shall move near your camp. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sing this song loud and clear. What a mighty God we serve. 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 Heaven and earth adore him, angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him, angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord, the Lord is able. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord, the Lord is able. Pray these prayers with fire and with power. Say, horn of my glory, hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. Horn of my glory, hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. Horn of my glory, hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. Horn of my glory, hear the word of the Lord. Be lifted above failure in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Any blood crying for vengeance upon my life. Be silenced by the blood of Jesus. 
any blood uh, crying for vengeance upon my life uh, be silenced by the blood of Jesus uh, any blood uh, crying for vengeance against my life uh, be silenced by the blood of Jesus uh, be silenced by the blood of Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen so my destiny you cannot enter into the foundational grave come out in the name of Jesus my destiny, you cannot enter into the foundational grave. Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, you cannot stay in the foundational grave. Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, you, what are you doing in foundational grave? Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, what are you doing in foundational grave? Come out in the name of Jesus. My destiny, you cannot stay in foundational grave. Come out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So my inborn glory. Come out of your bondage and break forth. In the name of Jesus, my inborn glory, come out of your bondage and break forth. In the name of Jesus, my inborn glory, come out of your bondage and break forth. In the name of Jesus, come out of your bondage and break forth. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any power calculating the hours of my existence, be wasted in the name of Jesus. Any power calculating the hours of my existence, be wasted in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any calamity that the devil is bringing my way in the future, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Any calamity that the devil is bringing to my way in the future, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So dark vultures appearing at the edge of my breakthroughs. So catch fire in the name of Jesus. Dark vultures uh, appearing at the edge of my breakthroughs. Uh, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, dark vultures uh, appearing at the edge of my breakthrough. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Dark vultures uh, appearing at the edge of my breakthrough. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. O oh God of divine acceleration, visit me by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every curse and bondage of stagnancy be broken in the name of Jesus. Every curse uh, and bondage of stagnancy be broken in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So any witchcraft battle against my life, uh, heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Uh, any witchcraft battle against my life, uh, heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Uh, every witchcraft battle against my life, uh, heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft battle against my life, uh, heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. Heaven is against you. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to send me to slavery. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to send me to slavery. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to send me to slavery. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to send me to slavery. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree upon your life, those of you who are on this prayer line, that all the collective evil family garment that doesn't want people to help you shall catch fire in the name of Jesus shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. I decree upon you 
that the Holy Ghost are clothed with the garment of power to overcome every attack from your father's house. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost are clothed with the garment of power to overcome every attack from your father's house. In the name of Jesus, and I decree by the decree of heavens that every battle that wants to strip you naked shall catch fire, 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 shall catch fire. Every battle that wants to strip you naked shall catch fire, shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. The fire of God shall surround you and shake out all the problems that are surrounding you. In the name of Jesus, the power of God shall surround you and shake out all the problems that are surrounding you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon your life that your glory shall receive the dew of God and rejoice. In the name of Jesus, your glory shall receive the dew of God and rejoice. In the name of Jesus, your glory shall receive the dew of God and rejoice in the name of Jesus. Every scourge of tongues against your breakthrough shall cease. In the name of Jesus, every scourge of death against your breakthrough shall cease. In the name of Jesus, and I declare upon you that as from today and every day of your life, you shall become a disappointment to the enemies. In the name of Jesus, you shall become a disappointment to the enemies. In the name of Jesus, and any power that wasted your parents and are looking for you to waste, they shall receive the arrow of death, they shall receive the arrow of death, they shall receive the arrow of death. In the name of Jesus, I declare upon you that anything in your life inviting failure shall catch fire, 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 shall catch fire. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God of Jacob shall arise and turn your terrible enemies to your full-time slaves. In the name of Jesus, he shall turn your terrible enemies to your full-time slaves in the name of Jesus and your destiny keys in the coven of wicked elders shall arise and locate you, shall arise and locate you by fire, shall arise and locate you by fire, shall arise and locate you by fire, shall arise and locate you by fire in the name of Jesus and power planning failure for your destiny shall be consumed by fire in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this program. We thank you for your grace and power upon the life of your children. Father, in a new way, visit all who are connected to this program. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Help them to receive divine speed, divine acceleration, divine speed, divine acceleration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.